In today's video, we're talking all about first apartment grocery lists. So I literally just moved into my first apartment this weekend and for some reason I have been so excited about going grocery shopping and getting all of the essentials. So last week before I moved in when I was kind of prepping for everything, I made a list of all of the essentials like the spices and just pastas and things that I can need in my cabinets and I can go to and reach on a daily basis. So what I did to make my life even easier is I created a grocery list, a first apartment grocery list, which I actually have a link so that you can download it yourself. It's free, obviously. Um, and you and I are going to go to the grocery store together and then we're gonna go through everything so that when you move into your first apartment, you know exactly what you need to buy and you can prep and plan for it. Let's go. So I just got back from the grocery store and everything was so much cheaper than I thought it was gonna be. For some reason in my head, I thought that everything was gonna be like $400 and it was only $200, which seems crazy, but I literally had nothing. I didn't have, I did not have anything, no spices, milk, nothing. So I bought everything, I shopped around and during the shopping process, I really learned which stores have the cheapest of different items. So I'm gonna go through all of that with you, give my best tips and tricks on your first apartment grocery list. And we are going to go through every different section so that you are as prepared as possible. Let's do this. So I'm gonna start with my hacks and then I'm basically gonna do a grocery haul going over everything I bought. But the first hack is, is to use a list. If you don't use this list, write one up yourself. It saved my life. You can see I like threw this baby around like it was no one's business. Like it is so crinkled, but it was seriously the best thing ever. Um, so that's my first hack. The second hack is, well, before I say the second hack, let me tell you where I went grocery shopping. I went grocery shopping at Aldi's, Costco, Meyer, and T not TJ Maxx, Trader Joe's. So I know that grocery stores vary depending on where you live. Um, so I'm not sure if you're gonna have all of those, but I really, really figured out where the cheapest thing what things were. And let me tell you that Aldi's was the MVP of this entire shopping trip. They had everything majority of almost everything that i needed and it was all so cheap so i shop at all these pretty regularly because it is so cheap and i know when i first went there it was hard to navigate so if you haven't been in all these and you're going which i highly highly recommend for your first apartment grocery trip um it might be confusing at first but once you figure it out, it's just, honestly, it's just worth it because everything is so much cheaper. And when it's your own money and not your parents' money, which I'm not saying that to sound like a spoiled brat, but you do care a lot more about what you're buying and I'm all about budget. So that was very important to me. So that was my first hack it, or my second hack is go to Aldi's. So now I'm gonna start by going over all of the different items that I bought. And at the end of it, I did buy some extra things um, that weren't on the list. And while I'm talking about this, <laughs> this is really should be my third hack, is that this list, if you use it, I mean, customize it to be for you. Like this is pretty generic on what a normal person would want, but even I went through and I was like, okay, for me, like on this list, I have canned tuna. I never eat canned tuna, so I just crossed it off and I just didn't buy it. But then there were other things that weren't on the list that I wanted. So I'm gonna kind of start with the main staples and go through the different items. And then I will tell you the extras that I bought just in case if you're curious. All right, so the first thing is pasta. I love pasta and through this shopping trip, I realized that pasta must, is, was, is my weakness and um this exact pasta i got all my pastas from trader joe's actually and they look amazing i also really love cooking so i mean if you want to buy less than this go buy less than that 
it's all about what you want. Okay, I also got bread at Aldi's. This is my favorite bread ever. It's only 35 calories. It's called the 100% whole wheat whole grain bread. And um, it's part of the Fit and Active brand at Aldi's. It's so, so good. And uh, the next thing I got is rice. And this is actually in the frozen section at Trader Joe's. It is the best rice you will ever have in your whole entire life. It's actually amazing. I tell all my friends, literally I tell everyone to buy it. It comes in the freezer area, like I just said. And you just microwave it for three minutes. It's brown rice too, so it's a little healthier. It tastes like Chinese food rice. It's so, so good. So that is one thing that is a part of the pantry list, but that actually goes in the freezer for me. You obviously could get rice and put it in your pantry. Um, then I got chicken slash vegetable broth. I like chicken broth, so I got these at Aldi's. They were like 95 cents, which is such a good deal. Actually, like chicken broth is pretty inexpensive wherever you get it, but um, anyways. Okay, then we have beans. So depending on what type of beans you eat, get that type. I really like white chicken chili, and that requires great northern beans. I make it all the time, so that is what I got. I got two things of great northern beans and then i got peanut butter and an extra thing i got that's kind of like peanut butter is cookie butter from trader joe's which is my favorite thing ever i could live off of cookie butter and then i did not get jelly because i don't really like jelly except i should have i should have probably got it in case i have guests but that's one thing that i crossed off um and then i got snacks so this is pretzel slips with chocolate on them for dessert from Trader Joe's. Pretzel crisps, which I do an appetizer with when I have friends over. Boom Chicka Pop, amazing. Um, skinny Pop popcorn mini cakes. These are like newer, I think, and they're so, so good. And these, oh my God, these are the best snacks ever. They are popcorners in the white cheddar and they're so good. So that's what I got as my snacks. Hopefully these hold me over for a long time since it's just me. And then I got tea. I should just move closer to you guys. So I got tea. I don't drink coffee, so I didn't get any coffee. Obviously, if you drink coffee, get coffee for yourself. Um, honey for my tea. And then um, canned tomatoes for chili or if you make pasta sauce well that's one thing that i didn't get pasta sauce i like making my own pasta sauce but i realized that that is probably not a normal thing that a 22 year old makes so you can just buy cans of it too um and then the last section of this list is the canned tuna which i already told you i didn't buy and then cooking oils so for cooking oils for me i got Avocado oil, which avocado oil is really, really good for cooking because it can cook at a higher temperature than olive oil. But I did get olive oil, olive oil as well. And that is it for those. And then the last section on this pantry list that you guys should buy is, well, you shouldn't buy because I didn't buy it, but is gum or your favorite candy. I personally didn't get it. I figured... I'll get that later, but when I'm spending this amount of money, I'm just really buying the things that I actually use. Um, so that is part of the pantry list. Now let's move on to the fridge section. So right when I got home, I put everything in the fridge, so I'm just gonna open it up. This is not organized at all. I literally just moved in, so it's kind of just all thrown in there. But the first thing on the fridge section, seriously, this list, this list saved me and it's saving me for this video, is milk. So I just got a small thing of milk. I really only drink milk in my tea, so I didn't get a large thing. Um, eggs, if you make eggs in the morning. Here's the eggs, oh God. <laughs> Probably just broke a few on that one. Uh, then we have butter. Just like, I'm still trying to figure out where everything is. Butter, all these, cheap. Um, and we have Cheeses, I got these cheeses from Aldi's as well. They're so, I'm like, should be sponsored by Aldi's? Because I was just shocked at how cheap everything was. Compared to other places, like even Myers, things were cheaper. So I got this taco style cheese from Aldi's. And then I got mozzarella cheese, 
string cheese, which I love string cheese as a quick snack. And then this is a major extra, but I love this cranberry cinnamon goat cheese from Aldi's. And what I do is I get some puff pastry. Like this is one of my friends over. For the bachelor example, this would be a really good thing to make. So I'll get this and then I get this puff pastry and I'll wrap the puff pastry around this cheese. I'll stick it in the oven at like 350 for 10-ish minutes, just keep an eye on it. And then that's what I use the pretzel things for so you can put it on a cute dish and then get the pretzel chips and it's amazing. This cheese is like sugar, like it's not, well no cheese is healthy for you but this is super, super sweet so it's like a really good dessert -y type of thing and it's delicious. And then I got just this, the Laughing Cow Spicy Cranberry or Spicy Pepper Jack Cheese which I put on sandwiches. Okay, then the next thing on the list is yogurt. I did not get yogurt. I don't really eat that much yogurt. Lunch meat. And then fresh fruit. I like apples and clementines. Um, and then, oh, fresh vegetables. So I don't really keep any vegetables. Oh, I got zucchini for zucchini noodles. Um, and then some spinach. But then the other vegetable that I got was onions and I just keep those on the counter and then I also got um, little mini potatoes that I chop up with some chicken and that's also on the counter I do not put those in the fridge and then chicken okay so for me I get my chicken at Costco I my parents have a membership so I can just use that and the chicken at Costco is the best chicken that I've ever found and then I just freeze it because like I don't go through that much chicken um, but let's see I have a lot of stuff. Okay, anyways, you get the idea. You don't need to see the chicken in my freezer, but chicken at Costco is the best deal by far, and you get a ton of them, so I just freeze it, and it lasts me a really long time. And then I also got ground turkey and beef, which I keep. I got ground turkey. I don't really eat ground beef, um, but the ground turkey I keep in the freezer, so then it lasts me as long as I need to, and if I'm like making a chili or something, I can just, chili or pasta sauce, I can just reach for it. All right, the next section is freezer food. So I got majority of my freezer stuff from Trader Joe's and Costco. My freezer is filled to the brim, so I'm not really gonna show you because uh, this stuff is kind of boring, honestly. But um, I got broccoli from Costco, which is the best broccoli ever. You can just throw it in the freezer and it's a really good addition to a meal. It's super easy and it's pretty cheap too. Then I got fruit for my smoothies. Fruit is more expensive, frozen fruit especially, which is why I buy it at Costco, because I get it's such a better deal than just getting the small things at a grocery store. And then I got single serve dinners at Trader Joe's. I'll just go through a few of my favorites of those. And also, I was re-watching that video. My hair looks so greasy from the back. I swear it's not that greasy. I just showered yesterday. So that's life. I don't know why it looks like that. Okay, so these are the things that I got from Trader Joe's in my freezer. Um, I got shredded hash browns if I have friends sleepover or if I have my sisters or anyone sleepover and we're gonna do a nice breakfast. This is just super easy. Um, then I got these fire roasted bell peppers and onions fajitas, which is super nice if you throw in chicken with a little bit of chicken broth in your slow cooker, let it slow cook all day, and then just cook some of these on the onion or on the stove and add some like taco seasoning or whatever into it. Such a good and easy dinner. I love doing that. These are the best things in the entire world world not from trader joe's i just get this at meyer so you can probably get it at any regular grocery store 100 percent vegetable pasta this is my favorite flavor the rotini alfredo amazing all you do is microwave it for three minutes or four minutes in the microwave and then it's like delicious doesn't taste like vegetables at all but you don't have to feel guilty about eating them I get these black bean and cheese taquitos, which I just put some enchilada sauce over and throw it in the oven with some cheese on top. And you have enchiladas and they're so, so good. I bet these would be delicious just as taquitos too. I've never actually had them. Trader Joe's switching around on you guys. Okay, um, this vegetable fried rice I really like from Trader Joe's and then also this rice cauliflower stir fry. So these are all extras that you don't need, but I like fast and easy dinners and those are like, these are healthier 
and they're super easy. And then the last thing I'll show you, actually I'll show you. Uh oh, I don't know where that went. Is um, this reduced guilt mac and cheese? It's amazing. I put a whole thing of broccoli over it so that it makes it healthy and it tastes really good that way. And then I will get some, this. I'm like going a mile a minute right now. Um, this I'm not vegetarian personally. Both of my parents and my sister is vegetarian, so I'm not against you vegetarians at all. But sometimes meatless things freak me out. And this chickenless orange chicken from Trader Joe's is incredible and tastes better than chicken in my opinion. So I recommend getting that too. So that is all that I have in my freezer section. Like I said, get what you want to get. You do not have to get all of this. This is just things that I will actually eat and freezer food that is healthy -er and easy is my jam. So let's move on to the next section. All right, the next section is baking essentials. And I like to bake, so if you don't like to bake, then don't buy these things. But in my apartment, okay, this is gonna make me sound so extra, but I wanted to have ingredients so that I could make chocolate chip cookies. Like whenever my friends and I go out, the thing that I want at 2 a.m. is a chocolate chip cookie skillet with ice cream on it. So I wanna have the ingredients on hand in case it comes to that, you know? So um, the we have flour, sugar, and brown sugar, all from Aldi's. It was super, super cheap. Uh, I also got powdered sugar. Um, you don't need powdered sugar, but it was right next to it in the store, so I was like, we should just put that in. Then I have baking powder and baking soda, also from Aldi's, and was cheap. Then I have chocolate chips. I went extra on the chocolate chips. I got Ghirardelli just because I like Ghirardelli chocolate chips, but you definitely can get cheaper on those ones. Then I have um, vanilla extract. Way too much brownie mix. I don't know how I ended up with this honey. I think this was actually by accident. I only wanted one, but I ended up with a lot. And then um, lastly, for on my actual list, I had pure vegetable oil. The extras that I got for baking are some baking cocoa, some olive oil cooking spray, corn muffin mix because I love corn muffins, and then some marshmallows for hot chocolate. Which I forgot to buy the hot chocolate, but I have some marshmallows here. So this was a section that I thought would for sure be the most expensive and it really didn't honestly end up being that much money. So that was really nice. Like I said at the beginning of this video, majority of the things that I bought for the spices and condiments section, don't know if I said that we're talking about spices and condiments right now, are from Aldi's and it was super, super cheap. So I recommend that. The first thing that you should have for spices is salt and pepper. These are actually from Trader Joe's just because I thought they had nicer bottles at Trader Joe's than at all these. But um, I feel like everyone, even if you don't like to cook, should have salt and pepper. And then I got red pepper flakes, garlic powder, cinnamon, nutmeg I have on my list, but I could not find that. I also got cayenne pepper, ground cumin, onion powder, dried basil, dried oregano, chili powder. So those are kind of the staple spices that most people have in their kitchen. Um, obviously there are more, like I got everything bagel seasoning, and this is actually from Aldi's, but usually I get that from Trader Joe's. Um, so, I mean, like I keep saying throughout this whole video, make it work for you. This is just what works for me right now. And then I got ketchup and barbecue sauce, hot sauce, soy sauce, and maple syrup. And then some of the extra things that I got, majority of the extras are from Trader Joe's and these are just some of my favorite things, is this chili onion crunch, love that. I got some um, just mustard, I use this in a chicken recipe that I love, so that's why I got that. Enchilada sauce, um, and then I have not tried this yet, but I've heard really great things about it, and it's Trader Joe's jalapeno sauce for on top of like tacos and stuff like that. 
So that is the last of the spices and condiments. I'm gonna quickly move on to the liquids just because I didn't take it all out. It's in my pantry and my fridge, but that is um, liquids. So I got water bottles from Costco because they're stupid cheap. They're like $2.99 for a pack of 24 or something like that. Then I got juice um, for personally for me, they're for my cocktails, but you can get whatever juice you want. And then I got alcohol. So I just got Kirkland's vodka because apparently it's Grey Goose and it's like $12 at Costco. So that's super cheap and it's really good. And then I got Malibu. <laughs> I'm a Malibu girl. I love Malibu. And I got beer for when my guy friends come over and my, my boyfriend's over. So that's what I personally got. Now let's go to paper products and cleaning. And then we're done with your first apartment grocery list. Okay, so I feel like I've sounded like such a mom throughout this whole thing. And then this is gonna make me sound even more mommish because I love cleaning products. I love cleaning supplies. So this was so much fun for me. I basically like it as much as I like cooking. Uh, so these are just the essentials. Since I love it so much, I got more than this, but I just brought out like the main things that you'll need. So the first one is paper towels. I actually got my paper towels from Target. I like, this is, <laughs> This is gonna be funny. So I like these ones and I was like weirdly excited about these because they're like the cloth paper towels. They're the Viva brand. And apparently you can get that brand at Costco. I didn't see them there. But, oops, that's what my friend was telling me. And she, um, or not she, they were actually the cheapest ones available, which was shocking to me. I thought they were gonna be more expensive. And then toilet paper. I got toilet paper from Costco just in like a big set of them. Then the next thing that you'll need is tissues. Target for me, that's where I got those. Uh, garbage bags. I love the Febreze scented garbage bags. I'm pretty sure, <laughs> like I'm smelling it. I'm pretty sure that's pretty standard now that they, the garbage bags that they sell have smelled to them, but it will make your kitchen smell so much better. And for me, that's worth like the $2 extra. Um, I then got Ziploc bags. I got this in a big set from Costco. And plastic wrap. Okay, this next thing I'm so excited about and that is parchment paper, which you, we wouldn't think parchment paper is exciting. But hold on, look at this. So I ordered this off of Amazon. And it was like $10 or something, which you get 200 sheets, so that is a really good price actually for parchment paper. And they're like single sheets that are already pre-cut so that they go directly into my baking sheet. And then like I don't have to tear anything, which is lazy of me, but I hate, I like always <laughs> get the wrong size or I, like pull too far or whatever and then it burns in the stove and, or oven, whatever. So this I'm really excited about just to be able to pull it and call it a day. All right, then I got dish soap. This white Myers dish soap just is very my aesthetic. So I loved it. And what I'm planning on doing is I actually, it wants, it's not that much more expensive than Dawn soap at all. But um, what I'm going to do after this is gone is I got a big thing of Dawn dish soap from Costco. And I'm just going to refill it so I can keep this pretty one out on my counter. And then it's like saving me money at the same time. Uh, I also got these sponges. These are the best sponges ever. They're from Home Goods, and they do a really, really good job at cleaning your dishwasher and that, or you're cleaning your dishes. And then what I do is every time I do a dishwasher load, I just throw it in the dishwasher and it cleans the sponge and disinfects it. And then I got dishwasher detergent from Costco all-purpose cleaner from Target. I really like this new brand that they got there. Um, I got glass cleaner. This is by far the best glass cleaner in the entire world. It is so good. Uh, laundry detergent, also amazing laundry detergent. It smelled up my entire apartment and smells so good. 
Laundry detergent is way more expensive than I thought it was, by the way. I think that one cost me like $10. I did not realize that laundry detergent was that expensive. And then I got dryer sheets. I just got the Kirkland brand from Costco. I've never used these before, so I'll report back in another video if they smell good. So the last thing on this list is just like a random section where you can fill in other things that you want. But I included medicine. I just got some ibuprofen and I got ibuprofen, emergency, and flu and cold medicine. Um, because I feel like that will cover me if I need anything else. So I'll just go buy that in the future because the medicine is also really expensive. So I wanted to just get like the bare minimum of that. So all of this, which is so much stuff, but it is, it was only, I, I want to say that lightly because I know that it is expensive, but for all of it, it was $200. I think it's really important to kind of have a game plan. At least I like having a game plan. Um, this sheet really, really was helpful on it. I wrote down the different places that I wanted to get things from and it's pretty cute. So uh, I would recommend writing a sheet of your own or just downloading this and printing it. Like I said, I'll have the link below. It's free for you to use. But going in with a game plan just makes it so much easier and less stressful and then you don't forget everything, anything and don't have to like keep running back. If you want just something simple, to make at your house. So that is what I did. I hope you guys liked this video. Subscribe. I have really, really great content coming out for first apartments or apartments in general. So if you're moving into an apartment or if you live in an apartment, for sure subscribe. I'm going to give you a lot of good tips. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you on our next video.